Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3, where we are here with a B of the Dark Moon Pack, facing down yet another bear! I have no idea why we keep running into so many bears, but this one definitely is spoiling for a bit of a fight. So we're gonna go ahead and oblige with the bite. Oh my gosh, it's the same bear! Okay guys, I think this is actually a boar grizzly bear that has been following us for a long time. He blindsided attacked us last time when we had some bison meat and now he was sneaking up behind us and he was actually trying to steal- What are you doing? Get away from that! That is mine! That is mine, you little brats! They're trying to steal some of the kill that we just made and it actually it's very difficult with all of the scents going around and all of the excitement to figure out where my kill went. Where is this? Is this my kill? Oh, there's my kill. Okay, my goodness. So here's our kill. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna grab a little bit more of it. I can't believe how just dramatic all of this has been. I'm gonna see, what do you mean? Oh, I thought we were in another fight. And that bear is still right next to us. Well, the good news is we just bit his butt. I wonder if it counts if it's the same bear over and over again. I mean, not in this encounter. I think each encounter has to be unique for it to count. But I think that the, that definitely counts. Um, that bear, oh my gosh. Well, all right, guys, welcome back. I think we do need to secure maybe a little bit, well, okay, we're gonna head, we're gonna head a little bit south to secure some of this territory. And then we're gonna start swinging ourselves up north because the idea, well, actually, I think we'll just go south entirely because that bear is like stalking us. Oh, now there's a cougar. You all need to back off, what the heck? All right, I think B is like quite a rate because like this was our stuff. This was our food. Now there's cougars, coyotes, that one boar grizzly bear that seems to be constantly chasing us. This is ridiculous. I mean, look, there's a whole herd of elk over there that they could have gone ahead and they could have done something about instead. But no, they're coming after our like easy meal. And I think that we're gonna let B and Cliff head back to the den now. We'll drop off a little bit of this food and then we're gonna swing up north and try to solidify the barrier that we have created to keep our little pups safe at the den. Oh, just as I was saying last time that Cliff is actually, we have decided from a pack that had a lot of fighting in between all of the other packs. So he's very concerned about keeping the strength of our perimeters. Uh, just as we were talking about being worried about that, now I think Cliff is convinced that we have brought him basically to the Valley of Bears. Cause there's just bears everywhere. Like we, we took like less than like a two minute run back to the den and the bears were still like, right behind us. Ugh. Yeah, I think B is getting a little bit worried. And Cliff is thinking that this is kind of ridiculous as well. I mean, so many bears. Why are there so many bears? All right, we'll go ahead and put down a bunch of food for the pups. And we'll let them eat for a second while we catch our breath. And I think that B is a little bit offended. Like, there's a ridiculous number of bears. The pups are all doing well though. I think that coming back like panting and exhausted and kind of like with fresh cuts and bites from all of the bears that are roaming around are making the pups feel like, okay, maybe we don't want to explore too much, but some of them have to really start be engaging in like Cliff's stories about battles with the other packs and his stories about the cougars that we just attacked and the bears we just attacked. And like B just wanted to live an easy laid back life. You know, Rosetta had such a quiet, calm, happy life. She just really wanted to reflect that as well and leave behind herself the tragedies of, of her family. She wanted to be courageous like her father Troyus uh, taught her how to be, but she wanted to leave behind like the worst of the tragedies of losing family members she, she cared about behind her. And instead, she finds herself besieged on all sides by bears lately. So I think she's getting a little nervous. She really wanted the, the pack to end up like becoming sweet and maybe changing the name of the Dark Moon pack. But it sounds like Cliff actually, like his courage might be a little bit reckless and get us into some trouble. All right, pups back inside. Honey, where are you going? All right, honey's trying to wander off. Are you trying to be our very first little one? to like go wander away. I think Honey is curious about what a bear might look like. And she was chasing shadows and little mice and being like, is that a bear? 
No, it's not, my dear. In you go. All right, she's good now. Whew. And I think Cliff is ready to go ahead and like, he's he's convinced like we need to go all out. This is like almost war. We've got like bears all over the place. We need to solidify and strengthen our territory control. But I don't think he's aggressive about it. I think he's just kind of excited. Because again, he doesn't want to go on the offensive. He wants to be defensive. He wants to make sure that there are protections in place so that we never have to worry about the kind of inter pack fighting that he grew up with. And keeping very strong territory markers is one of the ways that that protection is achieved. All right, phew, what, what? And he leaves us to do the territory marking? Fine, that is fair. He, he does tend to stay at the den a lot, unless we specifically call him out to like do a hunt together. And since he and the pups are all full, I think he's just like, no, I'm going to stay here and like watch after the pups. That's the point. Uh, one wolf in our pack is as good as any other to go forth and like mark territory, I guess. But I thought he'd come with us. But I mean, you know, I feel like he's a lot more practical. And I actually think this is hilarious because usually our mate is kind of like the helper who takes a secondary role to our pack, but I feel like B is actually the one being like sent out to do tasks that Cliff like examines and he's like, yes, this is what we should do in order to keep everyone safe. And he comes up with all these strategies and it just sends us loose. It's, it's kind of hilarious. Like I legitimately didn't expect him to be the one to kind of take the lead. I like it though. I, th I mean, to be fair, B wanted a really like courageous mate who could bite, who wasn't afraid to bite butts of bears with her because she wanted to have courage. I just don't think she wanted to have reckless courage. <laughs> All right. Well, that's okay. It's a beautiful night. And even though she prefers to be out during the day and we're getting a little tired, we can finish our territory obligations without too much trouble. All right, speaking of trouble, it smells like there's a group of bison up ahead. But otherwise, maybe we can go a little sideways. Oh, what's this? Uh-oh. Okay, no, phew, that's just arson marks. From afar, arson marks and the stranger wolf warning kind of look the same. Ooh, nice, more bunny. All right, lucky rabbit's feet. Plus, we want to keep this going. B gets to have easy days to live on as long as we do not have a stranger wolf show up at the den. And the better territory, following Cliff's advice, we can patrol. Then the less chance that we'll have to risk anything and lose our easy life. Except the fact that bears are everywhere. Like, they show up as soon as we sneeze now. <sighs> That's okay. All right, we're actually full. So lucky you, little bun bun. You get to keep your own lucky rabbit's feet tonight. Okay, come on. Now you are just taunting, like dashing back and forth in front of our wolf. All right. And then was this one that I needed to re-strengthen? No, a little bit further. Here we go. Oh, look at how beautiful everything is now, guys, with all of the like moss and the underbrush and all of the trees. Mossy tree trunks are just all over the place. Oh, that makes me so happy. Look at that. Oh, the sky. That's one thing that Chips and I and our friends really did enjoy is one night we went out and we drove and drove until we were far from all of the different lodges and we were very far from, um, yeah, we were super far from the lodges and we were very far from any of the lights that would be anywhere. And we actually had the amazing pleasure of seeing the Milky Way for the first time. Uh, like in person. I had never seen the Milky Way in person and we were all stunned. It was really beautiful and I'm really hoping that one day Chips and I will be able to travel somewhere that's pretty remote so that we can look up and we can really see a little hint of what the stars looked like before they were mostly lost to us because of light pollution. That would be amazing. All right, look at that. We're doing a good job. He can't have any kind of complaints, I think, because we're doing really good at strengthening this, this barricade. We'll go a little further, because now we're actually going into the wind, so we can get some of the story of what's going on in the land. Let's see. I thought I saw a bear for a second, and I was like, please, no. We've had enough bears. 
And actually, I'm gonna check how far away is the next... Okay, we're actually almost there. But if it was gonna be super far away because she's so tired, I was actually gonna have us turn around. What, there's another carcass? Another bison bull carcass? Okay, I think there must be like a lot of bisons this, this year. And the bears, and the grizzly bear population seems to be really like focusing on hunting them more than usual. Because I can't believe there's another carcass somewhere around here. There's just bunnies down there. Yeah, bunnies. And for some reason, we can smell the Junction Butte pack from all the way over here. The wind must just be like tearing like from the other side of the valley. Because that's ridiculous if we can smell the Junction Buttes from here. All right. And now we'll go ahead and start moving back home. So far, so good. We did a good job strengthening everything, so I don't think he can have any complaints. And maybe we can get a night's rest and have a little bit of time to kind of relax and not have to worry about the utter ridiculousness that this has been. All right, let's strengthen this one too. Is that all the way up? Almost. There we go. Yeah, look at that, 100%. That's a solid wall. Nobody can complain about that, if you ask me. All right. But meanwhile, look at that. How on earth are we smelling the Junction Butte pack from all the way over here? Like, where's the nearest Junction Butte? Way far away. Maybe they're like up against some of the old territory we had, but I think we're doing just fine. And I don't smell the bison carcass anymore, but I do like the idea. Oh, here, we can bring this back home to Cliff. I do like the idea that maybe there's just a large number of buffalo this year and maybe a lot of older, sicker males who are just not quite able to get away from the predators as adaptly as they used to be. Uh, and now, as a result, the grizzly bears are doing a lot more hunting, so maybe there's also been an increase in the grizzlies. And we have a lot of bison carcasses just lying around, which is fantastic for us. As long as we don't pick too much of a fight with everybody. Oh, look how beautiful this place is. I had no idea just having all of the new plants would make everything... It's just such a delight. It feels like you're going on this gorgeous walk in the woods. I love this. Like, when we went to Yellowstone, there I noticed... Why do I hear... Did we just run into another bear? There's another bear right there! There's a mother bear right there. We just need to bite two more butts, um, but we're exhausted. So I think even the eager to bite the butts of bears B is kind of warily glancing over her shoulder. Like, all right. She thought she was gonna have to spend her whole life chasing away the bears that caused so much devastation to her family. And now there's a moose. Yeah, warily glancing at everything. I guess we could go ahead and... Nope, 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 I don't want to attack you. I just thought it would be really cool to, like, get a picture with a moose. Like so. Okay, do not attack, though. I don't need, I don't need your, your, like, uh, no kicking. No moose kick. It was literally just a photo opportunity. Phew. All right. That was a good warning from him. Yeah, I think she's very tired now, and her paws are very sore, and B is beginning to think that Cliff's plan of this, like, very militant way of patrolling territory is a lot more exhausting than she ever thought it was. Ergo, raising a family is a lot more exhausting than she ever thought it would be. And now she's just kind of going to drag herself over here, and we're going to collapse down on the puppies again. And all of the way that B thought that life was just going to be one day after another of laying around the den like her mom. I mean, literally, Rosetta never, never, never worried about claiming territory. So this whole territory idea is exhausting. And on the one paw, B is like, oh, who needs this? And on the other paw, I could see how her mate is actually getting a lot of the puppies excited about the idea of like, wow, territory. Wow. Can you imagine? Being able to tell all the other wolves, like, this is ours, like, I, I, it's interesting. We'll have to see which pups end up following, like, their dad's way of seeing the world as bigger territories and, and rival, like, wolf packs. And we'll have to see which pups end up trying to follow their mom with being more playful and lighthearted. 
Not that B has had a chance to play a lot, but we're getting there. Phew! But alright guys, if you could, do please leave a like for our very exhausted bee. She's been doing her best to take care of her pups and it has definitely been uh, quite, quite the ordeal. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.